Garfield is back on the big screen. If you love lasagna, you hate Mondays, and you just want to watch a flabby tabby doing some fantastic stuff around the house with his family, John Arbuckle and Odie, well, this isn't the movie for you. I'd say go back and watch the early 90s cartoon Garfield and Friends. That's so much fun. Or watch the Bill Murray movie. Hell, even watch the sequel, A Tale of Two Kitties. But don't waste your time on this movie. Honestly, this movie had great potential. So, this is a Garfield origin story. Uh, Garfield meets uh, John as a kitten. He moves in with them. They get Odie. Everything's going great for Garfield except Mondays. And the reason he hates Mondays is because of like things that happen on Mondays. But these things could happen any days uh, of the week. And it's all in a montage in the opening. And that's all you get. And then it becomes this story uh, where Garfield and Odie get kidnapped. And Garfield's estranged father has to save him. And it turns out that the kidnapper was someone who was trying to lure Garfield's dad in. And she is demanding that Garfield... Odie and the dad go and rob a farm and get a bunch of milk for her because she was in Garfield's dad's gang. And when they were trying to go and rob this farm, uh, she and the rest of the gang got kind of thrown in the pound. They got captured and he got away scot-free and uh, she's demanding retribution. And uh, this could be really fun. It could be cool. They could have made this slick, cool Ocean's Eleven style Garfield movie, which would have been epic, but instead they made this lame color by numbers style movie that doesn't really pay off to anything fun or exciting. Now, Chris Pratt is Garfield, and a lot of people were shitting on him when he was cast as Garfield. Now, that wasn't me, because I like Chris Pratt. I think he's cool. He has a distinguishable voice. But as Garfield, he wasn't really thrilling. He was kind of laid back and and just kind of phoning it in. Not kind of cool, charming, and full of charisma like I want Garfield. Even though Garfield is a flabby tabby. But he still has some fun emotions. But not in this It's like, oh, okay, cool. And then Sam Jackson plays Garfield's dad, and he's kind of phoning it in, too. It's kind of crazy, because he also has a badass voice. And now, Odie's in the movie, and he doesn't speak at all, but he steals the show because he's doing fun, wacky, exciting things in the backgrounds of scenes. And, um, I don't know, this movie is not for me. I guess it's not for me, because I'm not a child. If you're a child, you might like it. Uh, I will say the animation style is kind of cool. I did dig that. It has a cool cast. Uh, but it's not for me but it could be for you and if you have kids it's definitely probably for them if you do like movie review podcasts might I suggest you check mine out it's called Movie Toast news and reviews and available wherever you get your podcasts thank you and please stay toasty